Well, right now, a 1500 pound bull is still on the loose in Suffolk County. Have you seen this guy? Take a look at this video. It's all over social media. Well, tonight, animal rescue groups and others are still looking for the bull. They've been searching for hours and yet nothing. Our Marissa Sarbach live in Mauritius now with what we know. Marissa, what's the latest? Rich authorities have been searching for this bull for over 12 hours. Now we are here in Mauritius outside the building where they say it escaped from. These rescue crews and these police officers have been out for hours and still there is no sign of this bull. There's some tracks here and there. You see the, the hoof print. Animal rights groups and Suffolk police tracking these hoof prints and trying to figure out exactly where this bull is. I wish I could say we're trying to catch him, but we haven't even located him. We haven't set eyes on him. The police have, um, and they're working with us and, you know, uh, to try and come to a, a quick end to this, but, you know, it's, it's hard to locate him here. Mike Stura from Skylands Animal Sanctuary is here to take the bull when or if they catch it. A bull that was apparently set to be sacrificed here in Mauritius for a Muslim holiday. Why did you come here today? Oh, uh, we are, we, it's our Idul Adha, which is, uh, you know, we sacrifice an animal after doing the prayer. This man says that's exactly what he and his family were doing here. Prayer happens and then they uh, go ahead and slaughter an animal uh, in the name of Allah. And then they divvy up the meat to give it to the poor people and the neighbors and then they keep some for themselves. Worshippers have been in and out all day praying outside this building. Suffolk police have been on the scene multiple times. John D. Leonardo, anthrozoologist and president of Long Island Orchestrating for Nature, says they are trying to save this one life. He's coming from a very bad situation. He was running from his life from an even more horrific situation, and he deserves to live and to, to really be, be a bull. And Marissa, we're hearing now that there's been a new bull sighting. Is that right? Just within the minute here, Rich. Yes, I just want to talk to Kevin here with one of the animal rights groups. He just laid eyes on him. What did you see, Kevin? Well, I ventured through the thick Long Island bush, which is filled with thorns for about three hours until right when I was about to give up, I found the bull deep in the bush. He's safe. He's not endangering any, any people. He's far from everyone, so... You don't need to be worried. There's no reason to uh, harm the cow. He he's, looks tired, actually, and he's not looking for trouble. So if anyone, you know. What, what at this point can you do? Are you guys going to go back out there and look for him again? We're going to do our best. We're in good hands because I emerged from where the bull is. I was on my own rogue, and I come out and I see familiar faces, and these are all great people from great uh, organizations, and we're going to give it our best chance. Uh, some of these people I know have already successfully caught bulls, and I think we had a, a great chance at success. Kevin, thank you so much. We are wishing you luck out there. We'll be, we'll be keeping updated. Go vegan. Cows are great. <laughs>